my name's Paula. My script says I'm supposed to say, and that's Matthew. But I'll be honest with all of you right now. Matthew's power ran out right at the moment we were supposed to go live, which is why we held for a few minutes. We will get him back when his power comes back, which hopefully will be soon. But we were like, why wait? Why delay the wonderful things we have for all of you today just because of Matthew Jude? So we, we went ahead. Uh, <laughs> yes, blame the poltergeist, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so no normally you might see Matthew and I here on the GenCon TV Twitch channel every Wednesday playing games together on our show, This Game Gets Dicey, which has now become The Stream Gets Dicey, I guess, is, is what's happened now. But um, that's not why we're here today. It's day two of the GenCon Spring Showcase, y'all. And we are here to talk about this game. I've got the box for it here. I'm going to show you. Zip. Oh, I don't want to block my microphone. Zoom in Barcelona. This is from Cucafera Games, which is being brought to North America by Blue Orange Games. And we have two of the designers with us today to talk with us about the games. Nordia at Casillas and Eloy Pujadas. And I'm trying to get my mouse now to get over to where I want to be. And then I think in chat, we also have uh, Corinne from Blue Orange Games and Joaquim Villalta, the third designer on this game, also in chat who can help us as we're talking about things and answering some questions. So hi, Noria and Eloy. How are y'all? Hello. How are you? Uh, we're great. Well, I'm Good. great. <laughs> <laughs> and you are in... Are you in Barcelona right now? Yeah, well, in the city next to Barcelona right now. Close enough. Aloy is in Barcelona. <laughs> Close enough right now. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the this game. We'll, we'll just get right into it. Um, we're going to talk to everyone watching. We're going to talk about it a little. And then we will do Tabletopia to go through a little bit of some gameplay to show you how it works. But first of all, so this game is already out in Spain, but it's now, like I said, being brought to North America by Blue Orange Games. And I believe that release is going to be May in the U.S. and June in Canada. Is that is that correct? Correct. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. By and the end of May in the uh, in U.S. and in mm -hmm. June in Canada. Yeah. And what exactly, I've got uh, some of the, the game right here in front of me. What exactly are we, we doing in this game? I, I think we're like taking some photos as we go around the city. Yeah, we are, um, we're photographers uh, in Zoom in Barcelona. We're photographers that we're basically zooming around the whole city to try to snap the best pictures uh, to I win a that. game. There's basically two different types of pictures that we're going to try to do. Mm -hmm. And whoever in the end gets the most points will win the game and it will be the best photographer uh, of Barcelona. And so the whole thing's set in Barcelona, but do mm -hmm. I need to know anything? I've never been to Barcelona as much as I would love to go. Do I need to know anything about the city? Will that help me? Will that give me an inside edge in the game if I know Barcelona really well, or can I play it and be competitive having never been there? No, 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 yeah, you can answer, Nuria. I know you. <laughs> You know it much better, but no, <laughs> no. Inch, I mean, that, we can do one inch. <laughs> okay, no, no, definitely not. You, you, you're gonna have to be uh, to, to know Barcelona. I mean, we designed the game in a way that uh, anyone can play the game, even if, if you if you have never been here or you have been here or you live here, it doesn't matter. You you can play the same way uh, if, if you know or don't know Barcelona. So it, perfect. It's not an issue. Hello, I was here from the start. Nice Hi, to see Matt. everybody. Hello. Are you I'm here? Sorry. We're I think Hello. we're getting your um swapped around your we're we're all <laughs> the windows are getting all all sorted back out again. Um great. So before we get into the gameplay, I, I have a few more questions. So what kind of inspired you to come up with this game in the first um, place? Um I, I don't I don't remember exactly what it was. It was more a feeling that um when we started doing board games and meeting with a lot of board game designers in Barcelona um, and thinking about the city. Then one day I thought, well, would, I would like to be able to represent somehow the city on a board um, that, that we have a gameplay that uses that city uh, in a way that is very visual. 
and, mm-hmm. and that was kind of the start of this idea. I wasn't sure how to bring it up, how to, how to do this. So uh, in, in one of the meetings that uh, we have a yearly meeting in the, in the Spanish Association of Game Designers that we meet in a, in a hotel uh, for a weekend and we, it's a very, very nice event. Um, I met with Aloy and Joachim and, and I presented them with the idea, uh, like I would like to try to do something that uh, to do a board game that has the city of Barcelona there, that we can see the different places, but that it's not about visiting the city, it's about visualizing it and using the visuals as components or mechanics or something yeah. like that. Well, and we and, have, I've pulled out a mm-hmm. few of the cards. I just thought this might be a nice uh, moment. I'm gonna see if I can uh, hold them up to my camera of some of the things that you can like spot in the city when you're playing the games. Yeah. You're going around, these are the photos I'm, I'm guessing we're taking as we go around exactly. the city in there. I've it's been also to at least different one of those and really places. beautiful. I remember it. It was great. <laughs> and this card art is done by um, Sophie Wainwright, I believe, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. When it was time to to figure out how we were gonna um, put images to to this game, uh, one of the things that we discussed with with Craig Peterson, who's uh, actually the the, um, the graphic designer, mm-hmm. and also the, some of the illustrations was if, if, you know, the typical, well, are we gonna do photos or illustrations? And we, we really wanted to bring in um, a local view of Barcelona, somebody who lives here, who already was drawing the city. So we went out and scouted uh, in, you know, in these places where they sell a photograph, well, mm-hmm. they sell little postcards or things until we found Sophie. And, and her art really was amazing. And, and we asked her to, you know, to illustrate it. And that's so really that's cool. how it happened. That's the, the, I think that's the best way to do that. I really like that. It makes it not more authentic, but it just feel more homegrown that way. And I think that illustrations on cards just adds way more character to a There's game. There's a charm to it. Right, yeah. A charm. I like it like that. It's cool. Yeah, I we, like it. We, mm-hmm. we thought it would add, um, you know, the, the local flair or at least the, how, how he, she sees it. And with yeah. the, you know, the, the colors are very vibrant and they're very blue. And it's sometimes how, you know, we, we imagine the city to be maybe not how it is every day, but how we imagine <laughs> it to be. <laughs> But um, now that we are in, on the cards and we're, we're showing it, it's mm-hmm. just that each card has uh, an area. So the, the triangle section up here is one of the areas. Um, mm-hmm. I see. And, and yeah, so yeah, that's the so- way you can locate where you need to go take this picture on the board. Mm-hmm. And then it has icons or some other items uh, at the top here. Uh, which are the themes and the themes will give you extra points if this if the themes or the game are uh, in in the card that you're picking up and then in the end you can also read the name of the place so if you ever want to go back to it one day you want to build your um, your travel guide, uh, you can also do it <laughs> this is how I'm guess I'm able to travel again I'm gonna use this game on my trip to Barcelona <laughs> I think <laughs> is just slightly bigger than you one day to see all of Barcelona. you longer. I have a take big time. I was like, well, just in this. And this game illustrates it so well. You can't do all of those places all at once. You just can't. Pick a few of them. Now, I have one other question about about uh, some visuals in this game. And that's, uh, is this dragon a nod to Gen Con itself? You know, Matthew's wearing his dragon, his Gen Con dragon shirt. Come on, camera, focus. Yeah. It doesn't want to. But y'all y'all at home can see what I'm talking about. Uh, let's talk about the dragon. Is a dragon, uh, Barcelona, excuse my ignorance on it. Why have you included this dragon? Um, it's so cute. So both Catalonia and the city of Barcelona are, are kind of um, well known for having traditionally a lot of dragons either mm-hmm. in, in uh, legends or also we have a lot of dragons in, in parades. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, in like, um, there's these, these fire parades that go around some cities and there's a lot of dragons and other kinds of mythical creatures leading them. 
And in, in Barcelona, a lot of artists and a lot of, you know, architects especially have um, crafted a lot of dragons into the actual walls uh, of the city. So if you're walking around, you're bound to see some. Um, so that's why I'm, I like dragons a lot. That's so cool. <laughs> we decided that the dragon was going to be the wild card. Uh, the dragon is um, also there to be able to take a picture of. And if you manage, then um, it will grant you a wish. So you will be able to take any other picture that you're interested in. And so the dragon is uh, very That's helpful. Cool. It's a good dragon. It's a good dragon. It's and and, and I, I, I want to add that uh, it's documented there are more than 400 dragons in the city. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, on we the have a lot of squirrels. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Not we have a lot of cockroaches in you, LA. Yes, so. <laughs> They're I called, prefer the dragons. They're called oh. movie producers. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, uh, Eloy, how is it? Now, the two of you co-designed this game uh, along with Jaquim. So how yeah. was it working on something like this with three designers? Uh, was there a lot of um, power struggle in that? <laughs> it, it was a challenge. It was a challenge for the three of us, of course. But uh, I've been used to co-design. I would say that half of my designs are co-designed with another mm -hmm. designer. Uh, the other ones are uh, solo. Uh, but in this case, it was in with six hands. So three people, three minds thinking at the same time with their own perspectives and their points of view. And I think it was very interesting to, to, to see uh, other people's perspective because uh, you need to convince yourself, but also to convince the others that that you, your proposal is is uh, is good enough for the game. And I have to say that uh, well, it, at least we, we enjoyed a lot the, the design process, uh, the the months that it, it took us for to design <laughs> the game. We, we met at uh, at Nuria's place, the and and yeah, we spent uh, yeah, the, the, it was amazing to to. To design, but also, yeah, the the feeling that okay, we are we are trying to to try this, and then oh, yeah, it's it's the best thing, and then we we tried it again, and it was like a disaster. And we tried again, <laughs> we changed everything, and yeah, we tried that. All. But it yeah. was it was amazing. The process was amazing. So I have to yeah. say, that since then, I I have to say that I'm I'm uh, I'm more focused on trying to co-design than trying mm -hmm. to design on my own. Yeah, it was it was it was a really great experience. I had a lot of fun, as he says, especially the days when we had to flip the table and say this is not working. Yeah. <laughs> Flipping the table was that was that was something. But the three of us agreed. That was the moment when we agreed the most. That was uh, that was. Crazy. And all three of you are like, so we yeah, all think it's not, terrible. Not right? <laughs> yeah, no, it's not working. <laughs> But, but yeah, I have to, uh, Aloy and Joachim had already worked together in a game previously. So I, uh, you know, they already had that, that relationship going on how to, mm -hmm. how to co-design a game. So that, that, that experience really helped us um, going through it. It was there is, yeah. there is a really good point in chat by Brian, who says it lends itself to a series, Zoom in Paris, Zoom in Australia, Zoom in a fantasy world of some description. You could tell yeah. me to do that. Plans, plans for expanding into other cities? There Nuria, are this, plans. Is a, this is a question for Nuria. <laughs> <laughs> there are plans and actually, actually it was born a little bit with this idea that mm -hmm. we had to not only design one game, but we had to design an idea that would be able yeah. to be expanded. Not, not copy pasted, but expanded, like yeah. build upon and modified in a way that it made sense for different places. And and yes, there are some plans. I'm I'm not able like to say more about that, but I'll, there are I'll just say are... this. If you do a fantasy <laughs> world that everyone's a bard and you have to go to all the different places and sing a song. That's perfect. I was going to pitch Zoom in Los Angeles and again, no, just come, no. coming back to uh, this cockroach thing. The cockroach is the <laughs> you wild. Get a cockroach and <laughs> I like well, my I'm idea sure better. The I'll say it. would work the same way as the dragon, but we can try. <laughs> it's like, did but this yeah. magical cockroach appear and granted me a wish? I don't. Yeah. Right. No, I believe that the, uh, uh, um, a, a partner will be will be announcing something soon, and we will Exciting. probably have an announcement by the end of the year as well. That's so great. there are things coming. Yes. Yeah. We're very excited. 
And uh, if you'll speak before, I know we want to get to the game and I am excited to it, but I have one more question, if you don't mind, just to talk a little bit about uh, your partnership with Blue Orange and how you decided to go with them to help bring this game over to North America, which I'm I'm pretty excited about. <laughs> well, we um, uh, we published the game. Uh, I published the game as as Coca Fair Games um, mm-hmm. as a you know an indie thing uh, in Spain, and I um, we released it in uh, Essen in 2019, and it was there when um, Martin from Blue Orange came over and was interested uh, on it and we had a chat and later on we kept talking about it and they were very grateful that they were very excited about it and uh, we've worked with the team in in blue orange um with stefan that that's been the the production person of reference Mm -hmm. and we're really really happy that they decided that they liked this game that they wanted they saw a a possibility of bringing it over to the to the US and Canada and bring it to you so you could uh, see Barcelona and, and do this uh, photography contest in there. Um, and so I'm very, very grateful to them for this opportunity to expand the game and where it, where you can find it. Yeah, I, I think this is going to be great. I think we should, Matthew, unless you have anything or anything else y'all want to say, I think we should get back into tabletopia and go play a little bit show everyone how how the game plays if we're all ready for that yeah yeah so i yeah in, in truth you have the game available in tabletopia um the game has two modes we will be explaining the full the game how, mm-hmm. how to play but there is a, a starter kit version of the game that is a simplified version so it has the same exact gameplay but slightly less rules on the uh, calculation uh, on calculating the point scoring mm-hmm. and that makes it a lot simpler even if you play exactly the same and that's the one that's available uh, you can play it for free there's no you only need to have uh, an account and the premium version is the complete game awesome. but you can go try it and yeah. see Barcelona that's something that's so great about plat- you know having games that are digital now um, is that you can go and like try them out and then so often I'm trying out a game on a platform like Tabletopia and then I'm like, well, guess I'm going to have to buy this because I really liked it <laughs> <laughs> and I need okay. to play it for real. Okay, so Let's do it. here we are. Yeah, so uh, how does it work? <laughs> okay, so it's very easy. Uh, you see here you have the map of Barcelona. Mm-hmm. We will have to move. Um, point from it's a point of point movement okay Mm -hmm. we will start the game so each of us has a camera like my camera is the blue one so if you can flip your camera so in in the normal game you will be given a a camera token like this one that Mm -hmm. when you flip it it will tell you where you will be starting the game so ah. I'm arriving by car. So basically, I need to put um, my pawn in the starting. Uh, where's the car at the top? Mine so is very appropriate. I'm, yeah. I'm starting by airplane. I flew and I, in. Could, ah. and I could legitimately arrive by train. So that makes sense. You to could. Me as well. This is. It's like almost like it was planned this way. It's, I don't think it was, but it it's worked out well. Absolutely was not. It, wasn't. <laughs> it was not. I'm arriving on, on by, by the sea on a ship. <laughs> Well, that's because you are already there. <laughs> More fancy. <laughs> wow. yeah. That's very fancy. Okay, so how we were going to move? Uh, we were going to move using these transportation cards over here. I'm going to deal. You don't need to pick them up. I'm going to deal three to everybody. Okay. Okay. Let's see if this works. You should all have three cards in your hand. Mm-hmm. And this is the maximum hand. So uh, um, you can always have up to four, uh, up to three cards uh, in your hand of, of transport cards, okay? What the transportation cards let you do is like they let you move up to that number. So in your turn, you'll be able to move and then do an action. The move, you can move in two ways. You can use one of these cards, like for example, there's a scooter that lets you move up to three or there's a taxi. That lets you move up to six. There's a bus and there's a, a bicycle. Um, we also try to put some you know, public transportation uh, ideas here. And, uh, or you can move on foot. Okay, If you move on foot, you can move up to two. You can always move on foot. So if you run out of cards, which ah, you can, 
you can always move on foot. Okay, so the idea is that you will, in your turn, you will play a card or you will decide to move on foot. You will move your pawn and what it is that you will try to do. Well, you'll try to go and take some photo or do some action so you can start um, either scoring some points or preparing yourself to be able to score some points at the end of the game. Okay. So uh, in here, in, in the board, in, in this board, we have a little help. So if you see at the bottom, you have this, this little help that says, you can move and then the actions. Okay, so which actions can you do? The actions is you can take a photo. Okay, mm -hmm. and it refers to both these kinds of photos up here on the top right. This is, is called the, the judges picks. So you're participating in this photo contest and the judges are telling you that you need to go to these locations. These are the photos that they want okay. you to take. So all of us are competing for the same photos in this case. Whoever okay. takes eight, eight of these photos will um, finish the game and then we will score points. Okay. Okay, that's the con end game condition. Uh, how we will take them then? We need to get to that point to take the picture. So when we manage to get to number two green square, which is here, like let's imagine that... Mm -hmm somebody gets to this point over mm -hmm. here, then mm -hmm. they'll be able to, as an action, take that photo and put it in their uh, area. Okay? Cool. And then we will put another photo. Great. And they will always will keep replenishing. For five, six players, we have five photos. For uh, four players or less, um, it's, it's four. Okay? So um, each of these photos will grant you two points okay uh, three points even better uh, even better okay. uh, but each of the themes of this game will add one point per theme to that photo if they have it so you see here we have two themes we have gaudi which is one of the most famous architects in the city of barcelona uh, that i'm sure you matthew saw a lot of it when oh, went. We, went, we specifically <laughs> made sure we saw a bunch of it it's great 100 <laughs> yeah. percent because it's very special. He's very. It is. It, 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 is, it is very special. You never kind of go. Is that one? You got. You know. It's that's one of the built. That's one. Absolutely, that building is one. That's no doubt about it. It's great. <laughs> and the other one means uh, outdoors. Okay, so it will okay. mean that we're looking for um, designs that will give us extra points to our to our pictures. There's other types of of uh, themes like these two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so most of the themes are icons that are different mm -hmm. types. So you don't need to know anything about the city, but you will actually learn like what, what why everything, why is every of these things famous for? Mm -hmm. So you will know if it's a theater or Gaudi or something else. But there's a couple that uh, take into account if in the image there are trees or there is water. Mm -hmm. Okay, that can can bring some discussions, but that's up to you to to let them go for hours. Oh, um, so we can make we can... <laughs> well. I think if you they are holding a glass. In principle, it's very clear, but if somebody wants to argue, <laughs> <laughs> it depends if it's a tie case, or not. <laughs> in that case, you will have to look at the image um, to score that point, and the <laughs> other one is about the name. So you will have. Two, two words here, which means park and garden uh, in mm -hmm. Catalan. And the other one is house and square. And then if they are called those names, then you will score also one point. Gotcha. Yeah? Oh, cool. So okay. you, can, you can pick and choose which, which kind of themes you want to play with and make it slightly different um, in any round. Oh, I love that. So that's, that's one way to score. Um, the other way to score is by taking pictures. You see this, this, this one here of skylines. Okay, so Barcelona, like many, many cities, have a recognizable sort of very high buildings um, that are, you know, like Sagrada Familia, quite famous. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that during the game, we will be able to um, move to this place and take um, and take one of this, one of these pieces. We can only have one of each okay. and there's always less than players okay why is it important it's like a set collection we're trying mm -hmm. to collect them but i'm gonna also deal um 
everybody one of them. Yeah. Each of you will receive a secret skyline. What this means is that each of us has a piece like this one where the skyline is ordered, but differently. Ooh. Okay. So we will be able to pick these buildings in any order. You, we can go around the map and, and try to take the photos when we can. However, to score, we will have to uh, have them in, in groups. Um, and the bigger, the larger the, the group that connects, the more the points. So okay? we're trying to recreate so, our personal skyline with the tokens yes. we're picking up. Oh, that's so cool. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And so these are, uh, and, and these ones uh, you can see here, that's the score that you will manage to get. It's in this case, for example, let's imagine that I pick up three pieces, but two of them connect and the other one doesn't connect. Then I will score five points, four for the one that doesn't connect and one for the one uh, that is alone. So I would have a total of five. Okay. So if I had them all together, then it would have been a lot more points. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. And so this is how basically we score. Uh, we, we take these kind of pictures, but we, we can also do some actions that help us uh, take these pictures. You can see the dragon. The dragon at the beginning of the game, we have the dragon at the top. What we will do is we'll, we will discard one of the landmark cards, which is this, this deck over here, mm -hmm. and we will place the dragon in its dragon den. So each of the areas of uh, Barcelona that, that we have, that you can see they are different by color, but they're also mm -hmm. different by uh, icon, mm -hmm. okay? Because we try to make it uh, friendly for, for people who, oh, yeah. um, who is colorblind. Colorblind, yeah. As much as possible because it's very visual. There's a lot of colors, but we would like everybody to be able to play. Um, so in each of these areas, there is one um, dragon den or dragon mm -hmm. layer. Okay, so in this oh, case, yeah. Yeah. yeah, here. So the dragon will go to the area that is pink. I okay. see, it'll it will go to its little spot there on the map. Yeah. yeah, and it will, once somebody manages to go take a picture of the dragon, the dragon will move to another area. Oh, great. So it's bashful, okay. it's a bashful dragon shine. Yes. Nice. It's like, oh no, no pictures, and then it runs <laughs> off. No, please. It's like, it's no, not uh... me, it runs off, yeah. <laughs> so that's, like, uh, and I, uh, as I said, the, the dragon is, is, a, is a kind of a wild card. What it lets you do is it lets you choose any of the other pictures available on the board, any of the skyline uh, tokens or any of the Ooh. pictures here and That's... also any of the pictures here but I'm, I'm letting that for the end and I, i'll let aloy explain that bit because <laughs> <laughs> this was his um, idea he just yeah, had to say, add it. <laughs> that's the part he insisted was in the game <laughs> <laughs> and the last two actions are basically uh actions to help you uh like if you move to an information point so mm -hmm. you have to end your turn in an information point so basically you move either by using a card or going on foot and you do your action in the information point, you can replenish your transportation cards. You can That's also dis discard. So for example, if you have a couple of scooters and you cannot move a lot and you, you, want, you can discard the scooters and, and get three cards, okay? So, so you can flush your um, hand out and, and get yes, the ball back up. Exactly. And the last one is the metro. So if you land on a metro, mm -hmm. your action can be to take the metro somewhere else. So basically in that turn, you will just be moving a lot. You, you first move either on foot or by car, and then you, you choose one of the metro stations uh, that is available. There's five, so two at the edges of the map at mm -hmm. each side, and then one in the middle. So basically you can enter a station that is occupied, but you cannot exit a station that is occupied. In fact, two players cannot share the same spot. Copy. Makes okay. sense. Oh, that's so Anywhere cool. in the map. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in order to be able to take the photos, we have 
So sometimes, because we cannot share the same spot, uh, we might annoy each other or we might not be <laughs> able to take the best photo. Uh, but there is one thing that we have, because we have a camera, which is our Zoom, which is um, this token over here. Yeah, that's our Zoom. Each of us has three points of Zoom to be able to spend during the game to take pictures, only pictures, from farther away. Ah. Okay, so we can either spend it in one go, like we are in a distance of three and we really want oh. to take that car away from somebody else um, and we spend it, but then it's a spend for the rest of the game. Ooh. Or we can just be more careful and try to um, not not be so crazy with the, with the three uh, in one go, but that's up to us. Oh, that's great. If you great. need that photograph, you know, you got to make sure it's worth it. But yeah, that's I like that because it's... It's just a pun as well. I like that there's a pun involved. <laughs> I'll be honest. I, I really like that. So. We know the okay. way to Matthew's heart. Sit. And then I'll let uh, Aloy explain because <laughs> this, this is basically so... Um, when you take a card, when you take one of these photos, you don't score automatically. Right? So you take a photo, you put it in your area. Whoever takes eight ends the game. But the judges won't let you score these photos until you have done something else and which that is, is yeah this uh, the natural light track mm -hmm. which is this uh, this area of the board we have these four uh four cards uh here and then this is a common route for all the for all players so all players needs to to go through this these four places in order to score their their uh, their cards um we're calling it uh, the natural light track because uh, we, we want these four faces during the day. So we have the sun, the sunrise, the midday sun, mm -hmm. the sunset, and the night. So uh, and we need to do to, we need to go there in order. So we we have to go first uh, to this place, uh, which is on the, the number one for this area, then to the other one. And wh when we reach this place, this first place, we move our uh, token. To, to this to this photo, uh, and then we are allowed to score two uh, two cards at the end of the game. Oh, cool! So, so we all have to do this track of of yeah. this, this. We all have to do this track, and so only if we we can only score eight photographs if we've been to all four of them eventually throughout the period of the game. Correct. I can see that that'd be cool as well because I can see that this would be where the zoom folk like actually on the camera might be useful because we might all be trying to get to these roughly right. at the same time yeah. so we can kind of like get close zoom in take a photograph and then because you could save your your the distance moved will be saved as well that way because you can kind of not go all the way in and then run, run back up i've I, i'm getting this I'm well if, if you want now you know how to play you yeah know absolutely everything so if you want we can go and kind of you know Let's, do a few rounds yeah and, take a couple turns we can we can also keep talking about it but then you'll yeah. you'll more or less see how how it is played but you'll see that the turns are really really fast yeah i One love that there's the, so many mm -hmm. different ways to score points as well so it kind of depends on where you want to focus or if you want to try to do a little bit of everything which is really nice Nice. Um, you've got options great camera upon yes i, I and that's why camera. i said it i just like to score in a game i like it because it's i never know how i'm gonna lose and it's, uh, <laughs> no, that's so exciting me. such an exciting way to play <laughs> yeah let's go around and take a few turns and yeah we've got to, some uh, time let's just take a few rounds yeah. so we can we can clarify any questions if there's any or if somebody in the audience has some questions about it then then let us know just okay, so in is. theory, <laughs> is there anybody that wants to start? Otherwise, um... well, as the only person who's never actually been to Barcelona, I feel like I should probably I like should uh, be yeah. the one yeah. who. Yeah, I who thought goes. you'd have a reason. Excellent. <laughs> I Go for thought it. you'd have a reason. Then um, you can start. Okay, so oh, I want the right. Okay, I want to go to, I'm going to try and make it to this number four star, and I that? have a bus. Why would you so do that, I'm okay, going to spend so... a bus card. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Just gonna yeah. ch chuck it yeah. there Don't for worry. the moment. Don't worry. Yeah, we will. We will deal with this. Thank you. <laughs> and then I'm gonna move myself one, two, three. Oh wait, no, I can do this better. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I made right. it. <laughs> I yeah, was going I'm... to go there first, and that is sorry, Matthew. Taking... Out and of then the I take options, you did the picture one of a. Uh... La Masia. Yeah. This is actually where um, traditionally the Football Club Barcelona players used to train. Ooh. It's quite pleasant. I like it. I do like, I will say again, I do, I'm just zooming in on the cards. I really like that it's, I don't know, I, just, it, I think the arts just feels very Barcelona to me. Is it know. my just, turn? Yep. Oh, that's great. Thank you. I like that. And now I won't so, get any bonuses for this card because neither of these symbols are the two that we are playing with right now. Exactly. Is that correct? Great. It's correct. But I got a photo and I'm pretty of proud course, of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've played yeah. A, a scooter and I moved three and I'm just going to take um, this piece, which is one. Oh, yeah. It's the Skyline. Mountain. The skyline. Yes. <laughs> And that did your turn, right? Matthew. I thought I was red. I will say that. Oh, yes, that you is... are red. You are yeah. red. <laughs> I'll, I'll I wait. I'm going to play anyone's, uh, on anyone's <laughs> dream. <laughs> I don't know why I picked you. <laughs> well, no, Nuria, you, you're nearby. Maybe you want to go there anyway. I think I wanted to go there, but uh, is well, it my turn? Yeah, it was my yeah. turn, right? Yes, yes, okay. yeah. With yeah. your scooter, you can go to, uh, to the I, other skyline. I, I, no, no, no. I want to steal from him. So uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. What is happening? <laughs> so uh, yeah. I'm going to spend a bus and I'm going to do what I had in my mind. <laughs> so you don't criticize me for changing it. <laughs> with two, so to, with two players, does this play the same? Pre, other than the amount of cards that are out, does this play the same with two as it would with five, for instance, pretty much? There is in, in the two, so the, the amount of cards and everything is exactly the same. The only thing that would be different is the amount of skylines, yeah. which there would only be one available. Ooh. So it, it is a bit more <laughs> tricky. Yeah. It is okay. a bit more tricky because obviously, um, you know, you don't want uh, the other to get too many. So the, the, the point will be how many you can score in a row. Yeah. And because that is secret, you might not know that until the end. So you don't know how many points each other will have. But it will be more strategic in the in the skyline because of the need to not allow the other player to have it. Yep. Yeah, so that's cool. So it's the place, the place plays, but it's like you wouldn't have to. Yeah, it's just plays very similar then. That's, that's cool. I like it. I like yeah. That's the case. Is it my turn? It is your turn. Boom, five. I'm down. Uh, I'm did you gonna... did you give us your skyline token as well? Did you drop that out of your hand, or did I? You should you should have this. Oh, there's one drop somewhere. Is I'll be honest, I, mine is no longer in my hand. It's and... here. Then it's here. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, the that's okay. With, that's the fine. problem with, uh, <laughs> with tabletopia is that you have to be careful with your hidden thing. <laughs> it's well. No one. If anyone can memorize that, then I'm absolutely. I'm very proud of it. That's uh, I'm going to go. Oh, I definitely did the thing I wanted to do. Sorry, but, but I'm not sorry. I did five. Can I pass through your? I can't pass no. through you. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes, yes, you can. You just can't can. end. Great. One, yeah. two, three. I'll just do that. Actually, so I'm going to go there. Is that six? I'll do that, mm -hmm. and I'll take this photograph. <gasps> oh, look at that! Mostly. Nice. Hmm. That's okay. then it's my turn. What I'll do is I'm gonna move from here from the sea from this ship. I'm moving on foot one and two, and I'm gonna spend uh one zoom. One two. zoom, Ooh, spinning a zoom. yeah, you crazy. So, so <laughs> no, he, he always wins. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, well, I think strategy. Yeah. I I'm gonna get could... this, this skyline. Yep, so I I'm not spending. By... Yeah. So I'm, I'm not spending a, a, tr a transport card, yeah. which are very, very useful throughout the yeah. game. I was, I was gonna say, I was like, I forgot that you can just you can just walk if you really you want. You can you just, just walk, walk, and that you would probably be the, be the best thing to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, so I think that brings it back to me again. Yep. Do not yes. do it. Don't. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. I will do what I want. Uh, so okay. I don't want anyone so to So <laughs> where am I at here? I cannot get to there. This is where uh, my analysis paralysis will start to come in. Oh, boy. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay. I think I have another bus that I will discard. You crazy. Uh, to go one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. And I'm gonna take a picture of this uh, for this skyline. Now, when you do the skyline pictures, do they have to be taken in the order that they are seen on your, you can rearrange them as you get them? Yes. Perfect. You can Sorry. So yeah, yeah, you can rearrange them after. So you can take them in any order. Perfect. Okay, so it's my turn, and I'm gonna have to spend all my taxes. They are they are not that many, <laughs> but you and can you blue, me. Keep in mind. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> they're hard to get by. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm gonna spend one zoom as well. Okay, let's rotate it. So it's always a bit hard to rotate in here, but I'm gonna take a photo of the camp. No. Uh, and the uh, overall playtime of the game um, is listed as 30 to 45 minutes. And as you can see, like the turns we're taking are like once we now we know the rules, the turns are really quick mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and two to six players. And I have here that the price point for this uh, for North America, at least is twenty four ninety nine, uh, which is right up my right, right. Perfect for my budget. <laughs> it's my turn, right? Because I've yeah. got a great move going on. All right, do Wait. it because Boom. we'll wrap up in a moment here, yeah. Matthew. So take Walked. your turn while you can. Walked, did a photograph. Do you see that? Perfect. Yep. Brilliant. Yep. Then I'm uh, I'm using a taxi to go to this new card, La Rambla. So one, two, three, and four, and I'm taking this one. Ooh. Yeah, we usually calculated that it's around uh, ten minutes per player. Um, more or less. Yeah, you're just, you really are zooming around the board yeah. here. And once you get your eight pictures, that's the in game trigger, right? And then you score up all your, oh, there's so much to. Because you could I'm, run someone yeah. out, couldn't you? But you can't, the thing is, because you, you want to run someone, you want to run the clock out if you think you're winning, but you can't do that because you've got to do the, the daylight track well, as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't oh forget to run the clock out. <laughs> because if you, you run the clock still... out and you haven't done any of those, you get zero points for photographs. Yeah. But you, can still, you can still close the game with less than the than the total um, um, uh, natural light photos. Yeah, it's yeah. it's up to you to know how far the other ones might be, and if you if you will be able to score more than them. So it's a risk that you have to take. I okay. love this. Uh, I, unfortunately, I wish we had time to play through the whole thing, but I think we're we're coming up at the end here. Is that what you were about to say, Matthew, yes. as well? Noria, Eloy, thank you so much for sharing this game with us today. Blue Orange, thank you for bringing this over to North America. And yeah, we've had a great time talking about this. Again, this is uh, called Zoom in Barcelona. It will be available in the U.S. in May. It will be in Canada in June. It's two to six players, about 10 minutes per player. Uh, fast turns, very little downtime with a price point of $24.99 U.S., D, which, like I said, that's pretty good for me because I feel like I know now how exactly we can how just to play, play it, it now, right? Yeah, <laughs> I can just great. play it now. So, up uh, next, just so everyone knows, is uh, Lost Rooms of Arnok from Czech Games. So, if you want to stick around to see stuff about that, that hotness out, and yeah, do that and all information for the whole showcase can be found at GenConSpringShowcase.com. Yeah, thank you, thank so you everyone for being here. Quick shout out, join us back again at 2 p.m. Matthew and I are joining a bunch of other lovely people to play uh, Mondrosity. So I'll just throw that in if no one minds. <laughs> <laughs> thank you both so much thank for being you. here. Yes, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank, thank you, for you this everyone. Game. Thank you yeah, to yeah. everyone to listen, that listened to us. That yeah, great. thank you everyone. All Bye. right. Bye. Bye.